Welcome back to Sailing MV, where we're refitting an Open 60 race boat. She was originally raced in the Vendée Globe, a single-handed, non-stop, around-the-world race known as the Everest of the Seas. So she designed and built for extreme sailing. She was refitted with a 27-metre carbon fibre mast and rig. It's got three spreaders, and the standing rigging consists of two cap shrouds and three sets of diagonals, D1, D2 and D3, which need to be kept under an enormous amount of tension. She carries about 17 tons of compression in a racing tune. In last week's video, we explained that rigs the size of ours need to be tuned using a hydraulic jack in order to fit wedges known as shims underneath to get the right amount of tension. And we were fortunate enough to have the builder of our mast, Pete Cooler from Applied Composites Technologies in Australia, on board to help us. By the end of the last video, we tuned the cap shrouds to about 16% of their braking strength, but the diagonals were still loose. In this video, we send Timo aloft to tune the diagonals and set the tension for the overall rig. We, we've got the cap shroud. Okay. We've got the cap shroud. Okay. And D2 and D3. At the moment, I assume they slack or nearly slack. Mm -hmm. Okay. So say 16% is here. Yeah. But the mass, looking from the side, has got already banana. Yeah. Okay, and, and there are the spreaders, okay? And because this, these puppies are loose, mm -hmm. all the banana comes from the cup shot, pressure of the cup shot, mm -hmm. first of the holding, okay? Yeah, when uh, we yeah. pull this one, and, we And when we them. start pulling this on, this mass is gonna go back here. Okay. And that energy is gonna be released, and that 16 is gonna grow towards 18. Okay. Okay, understand? Yeah. yeah. So next, it was time to send Timo up the mast to check the tension on the diagonals with this loose gauge for rods. Then the way you put it on, if this is a rod, you, you, you put nicely into the, these grooves, yes. okay, like this, okay, and then and then stretch this to uh, ah, they have to, to be here to, to lock in there, and the needle will will go somewhere here, okay. Yes. I so remember. so and you, you you leave it. This is for safety, so you don't drop overboard. Okay. Yes. So yeah. For my notes, D two and D three are dash twenty two. Which, Dasha 22. Which is nine and a half mil, okay? Which is nine and a half mil. So it's in this column, okay? But to check, you've got these notches. Yes, okay. okay. 375, 375, the biggest notch. If you if you put against yes. that rod, it should snugly sit in it. That's, that's your guide. It don't shake. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dash it to, 22 yeah. means is actually 22,000 pounds of braking strength. Okay. And if you divide by 2.2, is 10 tons, mm. okay? So, so the, this, this rod breaks at 10 tons. Right, and then we're aiming, we're aiming for anything between eight till 10%, okay? 10% of one ton. So we'll be looking at number 50. So when you see the ah, needle okay. going to the 50, you read in this column, number 50, row 50 represents uh, 1,040 kilograms, which is 10% mm -hmm. of braking strength of dash 20. Okay. Firstly, uh, I'll ask you to, to crank on the starboard side because yes. the mass is bending away that way. Okay, have a look. The b biggest bend is where the second spread is. Yes. Is it? Yes. Yeah, yes. Would you agree yeah. to that? On the ah, yes. Yeah. Put the, pull in this yes. side. And, and I go before. And I, you, you hang this on first. I and you try. start cranking and I'll, I'll tell stop. And then you read me the pressure. Okay. okay. And then, then, then if it's not enough, from that point when it's tried, you, you will be turning equal number. One turn, one turn. Oh one my turn, God. Half turn. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you're going to be up there for hours. Do you want a piece of pizza before you go? No, no, no. Are you fine? I'm very fine. Yeah, that's the way. Nicely in the grooves. The nice in the groove. Pull, pull by the white string and put that hook. Shake it, give it a bit of shake. Okay? It's probably reading nothing because it's loose. 20. It's a 20. Yeah, we're looking for 45, okay? Yeah. We took my start training, okay? Go, 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 keep turning. Big time. Keep turning. Peter 
explain that for the diagonals we want them to be tuned to about between 8-10% to of their braking strength. So from this gauge we can see that this corresponds to numbers between 45 and 50. Lock it. Lock it. Yes. The tension on D2 and D3 affects the tension on the cap shrouds. So to check the compression at the base of the mast now when the shims are in place, we need to jack it up once again and read the pressure on the gauge. However, before we do this, we want to detension the D1s to make sure that they are loose so they're not affecting this compression yet. Always careful to keep the regulation on both sides of the rig the same. So it's quarter, one, go one alpha, stop, perfect, okay, we're pretty much loose, okay, let's check now what, what tension we have on the caps with D2 and D3. Yeah. First, the mast is jacked up until all three shims can fit underneath. I'm going up. Don't put your finger I'm going there. I'm going up. Stop. Okay. It's free. Okay. You 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 move this this loop like yes, and and I'm again for twenty coming down coming down coming down coming down coming down coming down two hundred coming down coming down to two eighty coming down coming down to seventy to two sixty. And then, as we explained in the previous video, to read the compression at the base of the mast, we release the tension on the jack whilst trying to shake the shims to see when they're no longer movable and the mast is fully setting on them. Stop! Okay. Now I see it, the fact. Yeah, to, to in this side, see, no, this side move. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I know that. Yeah, yeah we know. It's not, it's not, not the state my yeah. boat is bent. Yeah. No, 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 kill no. Song. It's the, the kill song, okay? The kill song. No, the kill song, yeah. What is the kill song? Kill song is this, is the kill song. Maybe that way a little bit of mass, maybe that way. No, no, kill song could be. Is that okay? Right? Yeah, it could be, it could be a fraction of the mid out, yes, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, but if the boat wasn't perfect, perfect to flat, it only takes half a mil and it's mm. one's higher. But I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. I'm not necessarily saying that I've made the shoe perfectly straight, not crooked, you know. I'll, I'll but you know, also, me, I have not the same long uh, legs. Uh, the legs, uh, one is more long, one is short. Uh. So, what I'm happy with, that we, we wanted around 46. We, we wanted about 46 on, on this, on this uh, D2 and D3s. The reading on the rod gauge for these diagonals had been about 46, which is within the right range. So all that was left was just some fine tuning to make sure the mast was in column. Okay, go. Keep talking to me. Okay. Another up round. Going. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Hello. So, how much you got? How many? One and a half. Uh, yeah, come and put another half. Two round. Two half more. Alpha, yeah. Okay, we are Alpha now. Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Is he here? Okay. It's the dog. Dog. Where's Daddy? Oops. Okay, lock it. Yeah. And I'll jack it up the 10 mil and we check the pressure. Oh, yeah. done. done. Read. Okay, just grab this one. Ah, you. Yeah. Just gently, I'm, I'll be dropping. Yeah? No, wait, 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 wait. I'm not in position. Yeah. Set. Yeah. Stop moving. Still moving. Still moving. Stop. That's it. Two hundred fifty. Good. Yeah, yeah. Right. And so. So after you've done 
we have done this on the deck, you've done this a lot. Yes. We have 250 bars, okay? At the end, we got 250 bar on the gauge, which equates to 10 and a half tons, which is 19% of the braking strength of the cap shrouds. 250 is only this. Okay? The caps. The caps, plus this and this. Okay, this this is 50, 100, this, this is one, one ton, ton, one ton, okay, so I'm sorry, well, that's double, two, two. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. for each. This includes the extra ton from each of the D2 and the D3s, which is an extra four tons in total. Plus a D1, yeah. Plus D1. Uh, is another yeah, yeah. ton and a half. Yeah. And then finally, we cranked on the D1s to one and a half tons each, which is 11% of their braking strength. And after this, we re-measured the compression at the base of the mast and got a reading of 330 bar, which equates to 13 tons. No. So we were reading 330 yeah. before we put we put the, the, stay. the, the inner stay back, okay? So I, I calculated we have about 13 to 14 tons, okay? Yes. We probably definitely 14 with, with, with the... With the stay, we have a 14 ton the, because yeah, they yeah, can yeah, yeah. take yeah, another yeah, ton. Yeah, yeah, then finally, after all this, we tightened the inner four stay, which gave us an extra ton, giving us a final count of 14 tons of compression at the base of the mast. And then, then when we dropped the 10 millimeter shim for anchor, when yes. we the anchor, I've noticed 200 bars, only eight tons. So we, we literally drop We remove the, the... About six tons we're dropping. Yeah. You take that plate, 10 millimeter plate. We don't drop. have the diagonal, but we still have the yeah, tension yeah, yeah, of the yeah, cap yeah. size. Yeah, so the cap the, the, yeah, no, 10 millimeter plate, yeah. six tons, okay? Then it's all diagonal. That, that's like one third of the pressure. Yeah, yeah, it's it is. Diagonal. It's always exponential. exponential. It's not non-linear, okay? Yeah. It's exponential. I mean, it's a bit more confused because it's not, both is not infinitely stiff in cases. Mm. Both, both releases some energy, you know, pre-bend releases the pre some the energy. Bend of yeah, the yeah, okay, so it's a bit more complex, okay? But generally, yes, that's what we're reading here, mm. okay? So. So, so relieving six tons is just is a smart thing to do in the dog when you're not yeah. using the boat. And if we were to sail without that end, though, no, you, no, you, no, can. you, you there is no day you, you probably won't lose the mass, but the mass will be because of the ones being so slack, it's gonna be all over the place, you know. So, yeah. we'll be looking very ugly. Yeah. So, to recap, when we've got three shims in, the diagonals are tuned to approximately 10% of their braking strength, with the caps being tuned to around 19%. However, we have the option when we're docked or at anchor for longer periods to remove the top shim, which would bring the overall tension of the whole system from 14 to 8 tons. This enables us to take the stress off the rig and hopefully prolong its life. If you'd like to see more about this calculation and how the tension on the diagonals affects that at the bottom of the mast, head over to our Patreon page where we'll be uploading some exclusive content.